welcome everyone to the next Mind Culture podcast. Today we have uh, Leonie Val from Vienna, an upcoming upcoming artist in the genre of choreography and also Schauspiel Theater, as she calls it. Basically, I come from. I'm a dancer, like, and I see myself also as a dancer, even if I'm choreographing as well. Because I do believe that this art form has to do with dance. Like, it's, it's, it's uh, very connected to the person who is on stage. This is my point of view to see it. And um, so basically I see myself as a dancer. I think all, there was a lot of big choreographers, not to compare myself to them, in the past, like Martha Graham or whatever, they basically, they are dancers. They are not, they were dancers and they, to become choreographer or they were choreographer at a certain point in their life, but basically they're coming from the, the practice of being a dancer. And this I, is also very similar to a lot of other uh, dancer ways, path. It's basically you dance at a certain point, you have to start to watch what you can do else. And it's logical that one of the possibilities also to be choreographer, and it's, it, it is not a contradiction to the fact that, because argument of a lot of people from creators to critics are like, yeah, but this person is just a dancer, he's not a choreographer. Um, is this, is this that they say, yeah, be, you're not choreographer from beginning on, yeah. Uh, from 20, from your 20, so you're not the one who wants really to say something and whatever. I don't agree with this because a dancer is an artist as well. A dancer is uh, he's moving and he's doing art with his body. And um, these people, most there are a lot of people who are trying to become a dancer. They are not able to become a dancer and they become choreographer very early. So also because right. they have a or because they have problems with the knees or problems with the physical injuries or whatever. So first of all, this is for me to clear, first of mm -hmm. all, this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very relative. It doesn't mean that uh, then the choreographer has to have always these super great ideas and, and to, to know how to write them, especially. And that's what, make, what makes him a choreographer. I do believe I'm already uh, dancing since I'm... Since I'm five years old, so in a private school I started. I'm really dancing a long time. I'm there almost almost 40 years already doing this, practicing this. So, so you feel you have enough uh, I think I have a too. little <laughs> bit experience, even if I feel as, as well that I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. as, at the same time, I have the, the feeling that I'm just starting to do it, that I'm that I don't know anything and, and, and it's always places to discover or things to discover and, and I feel very small in this. It's not that I feel I don't know how much big. I feel very small, but I know as on the other hand, also, on the other hand I see that I have an experience. And mm -hmm. it's a very nice thing to it's a very nice thing finally to to feel Ah, yes, there is an experience. There is something imprinted in my physicality or in my, in my, in my path. I feel there is a knowledge and it's there. You don't mm -hmm. have to fight for it every second. You have to keep on fighting <laughs> always. But it's not like it's, it's, more, it's more deep inside. And this mm -hmm. is a very nice uh, sensation, which was not like when I was 20 or... Yeah. So... This is great. Like, actually, you say a lot of things, but one of the things you say is that, okay, just the fact of being a dancer and like being invested in this art and being invested in expressing with your body for so long time, you have to go deep. Like, if you, you cannot not go deep if you're doing it for Absolutely. such a long time. And there is a way to translate it into creating works yes. or creating choreography. Yeah. And I think maybe nowadays the I think the, the distinction between creating choreography and actually directing is a bit blurry, especially on the free scene. And maybe that's why you can come into doing choreography also from the field of reading books or from the field of um, reading more books. 
and that that works because you have to have this overarching uh, view on the things yeah. but uh, actually if you want to work in depth i guess it really helps to know the practice and i really feel you do yes in my way, I, I, there, is, uh, there is a lot of dancers, very good dancers and mm -hmm. in the whole world. There is really fantastic dancers with different, uh, with different directions and with different skills. And, and uh, I, I think everyone is fantastic, like, you know, in his way. And, and also, of course, we need also people who, who come from a more um, an other side, uh, from other, I, I'm anyway, I'm happy if people are doing this art form, but um, the, the, the physical, the physicality, the knowledge and the physical thing, like the, this very specific knowledge is something, it's, it's a skill. This and it's not something read. you learn in two days. And it's also not something, and you can work as a choreographer being very, coming from another, from another side and you can of course work with good dancers and then you can um, or, or, or also work with concepts but it's the question for me is then sometimes is then really this art form still talking through the body and through the physicality or through concept and ideas which is absolutely fine because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's just a question where do we how do we name it or how do we uh, it's not about naming it. I, I don't care. It's just I do think that the physical dance has a space. It's an art form. It's a very, I believe very strongly in this art form because it is very in our, it fits so much to our days. It's, um, mm -hmm. first of all, there is no language difference. So it's very international, which is in the global time. It's like, it's fantastic. It's so connected, but still it's so connected to individual human being because everybody is different every every physical body is different but we are all the same also like uh, uh, we are very close it, it's it's an art connected to the big emotions that we have like uh, to move and to dance you need a big emotion like um, like like uh, happiness or like anger or frustration or or really big emotion to that want to make you move mm -hmm. so it is very connected to to the senses and emotions i feel like that this is a great antidote to us as a society or as a civilization diving into this you know internet and and digital things Absolutely. and disappearing in technology and actually dance is one of those archaic art forms that can um, you know, focus on what makes us actually human or one of the things that makes us human, which is the body and Absolutely. what the body can do. And I think that's why dance maybe is even on the rise as opposed to on the decline, because it's such a niche art form. Absolutely. But... I also believe that it's on, the, it's, it's on the rise because basically it was not on the rise in the whole period of Catholic uh, and or the religion, like the... How you see the Middle ages? And... Yeah, it was very not not uh, accepted in the society. So basically, it's not long time ago that this art form is accepted as mm -hmm. an art form, and it struggles still a lot to be accepted as an art form. You see it like it's so. I know it by experience how how struggling it is to to really um, to to go around and see dance as an art form. And to, to how, how to say to to you see what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I mean to, to make <laughs> right people like, you know yes. believe that this is what you do is an actual thing that yes. you can live from and not only your hobby. I think this is one of the. But also, uh, like as compared to other art forms mm -hmm. like the theater or the music the, in the society, there is a cert certain acceptance, especially mm -hmm. like I've been also in Holland. There is there. A, a, Big, it was there 20 years ago, uh, already a bigger acceptance of, of dance than, than here. It was a bit before, now it's, I don't know how it's now, but, and, uh, but in a big theater, like uh, the opera house, mm -hmm. it's something you learn in school. From beginning on in a dance school, you learn the last art form, the one which has less importance, less blah, blah, is the dance. 
form. You learn this because you know that we are young. It's a young art, like young accepted as a real art form in the right. in the society. So it's a, it's still a big fight because you cannot you cannot put it in books. So you cannot like. You cannot. Uh, there's te no text attached to it. Yes, like, there is. Even music has a text attached exactly, to it. Exactly. Like. There is no text. You cannot put it in a form like this easily. And it's still. Uh, and it's very disconnected to this. Mm -hmm. Because if all the. Tr to try to put it with words, to describe it with words, it's ridiculous. My, It's very difficult. It's not ridiculous. There's some for sure short people, for sure people who do this. For their profession as well, and then I don't want to offend them. Yeah, well, but but it's it's a different approach. It's like you cannot put this art. You cannot. It's very hard to describe. Maybe you cannot put everything about it. I yes. think you can put some some things. some big parts, but yeah. but a, a, a the big essence. essence of it uh -huh. not. And could you tell me a little bit more about okay? Because what I'm, my question is because I've I've been working with you as well, yes. and I've been seeing you move. Yes. And you move a lot, and mm -hmm. you have a certain way of um, having a lot of information in this movement. And I'm actually curious, what is your position on on the body's potential of storytelling, or does the okay. can the body do storytelling, or I... what 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 is what what can the body say that that is maybe be beyond just feeling because I, yes. we, we understand like okay when we see a body it gives us there are the mirror neurons yeah. and okay we see a sensation in the body we start to feel a sensation in ourselves as well but is there a potential of expressing some things and uh, for, for for me of course there is extreme uh, possibility to express yourself and to 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 narrate something but not narrate something like it's narrated normally like mm -hmm. look the story has always like a beginning then something happens then blah 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 this i cannot narrate with the with the body directly it's not an information it goes one to one it's not arriving with with movement because i'm working now with acting as well or or with with uh, with theater and of course these things it's not even interesting if i want to try to narrate some concrete things with body because move like my dance you say i move i use a lot of movements i do think because there is Many, many information, like many, many little stories. There is thousands of little stories that I have with my movement. Because when I start to, when I create movement, I'm diving into a world and, and I just, um, I just take, if there is a topic, there is a topic. But if, if there is no topic, I, I, every movement that I do, there is a meaning, there is certain aspect. Of it, mm -hmm. and there is always the aspect of of um, the form, the shape. This one aspect, but it's the one that interests me less. I have to say, even if people maybe think from outside it looks that it's formal, but it's not. Um, I I'm not interested about this. I interest very much about the feeling, sensation of the movement in the body because it's a body sensation, it's a mm -hmm. physical sensation, but also like the timing of it, the story, what it says to me. What is it connected to which memory? Like actors work, but they work, they, it's like actors would work like with one movement for a whole piece. You know? Right. Like because they, they search a character and they search a feeling or a connection. I mean, I don't know yet so much about acting, I'm really curious about that. But they search one and this is repeated. It's all aspect about this one feeling or sensation so or, or thing. like you walk strangely yes and you walk strange and you character. walk exactly that makes you character and then there is much more to it but right, physically just physically speaking it's like this and and then you repeat this and you repeat this and this makes a lot of other things but with us is if if i have a one mini choreography i maybe have uh, 45 different of these little things and they are very there is there is all com they are these movement are different in in the combination of how timing space um feeling blah are in this one movement so they are connected all every movement is connected to something very specific which i know 
Mm -hmm. Maybe I cannot name it always completely, but I know, ah, this is made, this has, so it's a huge information, yeah. Mm -hmm. so for me, it's very important, but then when somebody, if we already worked also here uh, with this, um, the construct, like to deconstruct this, um, this uh, um, different movements or to name it. And then, of course, for the actors, it's like, uh, what? <laughs> like, because we disconnect, we don't have these things, these move, that's what I want to say. This movement, mm -hmm. they don't have to be logically connected to each other, mm -hmm, in my mm -hmm. opinion, because um, these movements are, are, uh, are maybe just because you go from A to B and then you give, go from B to C. And it doesn't have to be, have the logical thing which which the story has. It's not the storyline that he's following, but it's the, the physical storyline that it, that it gives him the line. Mm -hmm. Which I call it always the dance dramaturgy, which is a different uh, t uh, type of dramaturgy, which is given from the physical aspects. So you say that the body has enough intelligence that you can create your own stories? Like that, you can create your own narratives, and maybe they're not they, necessarily maybe they're not linear. narratives. They don't mm -hmm. become like narratives, like a story, like uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I went to the shop. I and went I to the shop, or uh, something. But it, every movement for me has a story. If I have a topic, I'm talking mm -hmm. about, uh, for example, in this piece, it's like the craziness of my mother and the transformation and. Uh, and um, and this moment, I try to find all that I occupy myself with this physically and emotionally and and uh, and in logically also, but I'm not gonna put the story, tell the story, A, B, to C, B, C, but they are, all these things are connected, all these movements are connected, mm -hmm. and I try to find a, a way to 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 arrange it or whatever. Could you tell me a bit more? So we go from the, so the body can say things. Yes. So we agree that if you, if you're, say, a skilled enough, if you have enough knowledge yes. and you have enough experience in order to transform your own experience mm. into the physical expression, yes. then you can make those dense storylines, let's yes. say. Uh, I am curious, I'm now curious, how is it in the case of, the piece that you just mentioned. So you're, because as as I know, you have been working on a piece about your mother, an autobiographical yes. piece, yes. and I'm curious. Um, yeah, I'm curious, like what elements of the life of your mother you took, and what elements of your own life you took, mm -hmm. and what is their things in the end? If you could tell me. All right, um, <clears throat> this piece basically, I have to say, first of all, it was not my idea to do but from Ernst Kurtweigel, the, the director, um, because he was very touched from the story about um, my mother. When I was 10 years old, she went inside a telephone booth, like in a restaurant, because we had to call there always to wait for calls from, uh, because we didn't have a telephone. And she went inside, and when she came outside, she had a schizophrenic uh, episode. So basically what interested him was the transformation that occurred to her. Like the fact that someone can go, be in a place, in a space, and then be completely transformed from, completely, like completely. Uh, and, and he want, and, and that, that was his interest. And he asked me if he wanted to do a piece together. And I was very interested. It was not clear if it's going to be a solo or group piece or whatever. So it was really very exciting idea because I would never, even if it's a topic that interests me and influences all my work for sure, um, I never had the idea to do that direct, it's, it's so directly. It's a big idea. Like yes, it's a, it's a big idea. But it, it basically, it's not a story about my mother that got crazy, of course. Basically, it's more about, a, it's, the piece is about transformation. And it's transformation also in art. That's basically mm -hmm. the topic. It's about what we wanted to compare this this, not compare, but to analyze this, and what happens to a person who is going to perceiving art and is transforming because of this, or is doing art and transforming because of this. So it's basically, these were the aspects he wanted to illustrate, or not illustrate, but to, to, to work on. Mm -hmm. And it's, we didn't make a storyline out of it. 
uh, like a, really a, a story A to C, but we wanted to, to research on all these aspects which are around the craziness, the schizophrenia of my mother, the, 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 what means for a child to, to see this, uh, the experience of my uh, own experience, to, 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 to watch this transformation uh, and all the sensation which are coming along. And it was also the first project we did really that we mix dancer and actors. Mm -hmm. Because this is something um, I'm really interested uh, since since all the time, but I never had a chance to do it before. To to go more in the end, dance not dance theater. I don't want to say this, but dance schauspiel or dance play, <laughs> dance mm -hmm. play or to mix because dance this, theater this, has attachments this, to it. Already. This this uh, place between, which is mm -hmm. in between acting and dancing. Because I do see dance in a very psychological way or in a, in, a very, um, in a very sensational way. That's my interest and also in acting. So um, for me, it's obvious that I go in, that there is this direction, in, this interest for this direction. And um, just, yes? Yes, you say about uh, the place between acting and yes. dancing. And, and, and one big part of this was really to experiment with actors because I'm a choreographer and we are a group and it's basically a theater group. And there is me as a dancer and choreographer, in, which is part of it. And, and I ask another dancer with Organic Revolt, we ask another dancer to also participate. So we mix really like kind of almost, even it's three actors and two dancers. Now in the, in the Wiederaufnahme, it's uh, the opposite. It's three dancers and two actors. Um, just to have a kind of even amount of people and to really exchange on this side. So for us, the project was very much about exchanging and really exchanging, not just superficially, really try to understand how actors work and, and for the actors, how dancers work and to really give them, the, not to try to do the best what we can, mm -hmm. but try to really, to, to, how to knit this together, how to find the, the common places, uh, how to understand the other and, and use it for each other and really learn from each other because I think there is an interest from both sides always. Actors always want to also dance and dancers also always want also to act. And there is a very interest to, to exchange and it was very interesting to, to, um, to analyze and, to, ex and to, to explain to how did I do the, the word, how did I do mm -hmm. this phrase and they go, ah, really, you did it in this way ah, and interesting. So like, or, or the opposite, uh, I observe the actors, how they work, how they do the scenes always like, so it's a really inter, and that was very exciting for everyone. And could you name some of the things that you specifically learned from this process as a dancer? Well, yeah, well, I already kind of talked yeah, about yeah. it before, <laughs> and that was this with the movement, uh -huh. because for example, I started with, uh, with some phrases, and it's about the, we, Basically, I'm, I'm very much believing from the individual work of every person who's on stage. So this is something which is also very, for me, important for the work that uh, I'm, I'm, as a choreographer, I don't want to put my movement on other people. I do it sometimes in lack of other possibilities or time, but basically it's not I don't want to put any, any, anything on people. I do think if one person, a dancer, he is... He's uh, researching himself and, and he knows the best how to do himself or how to dance. You know, I don't have to explain how to dance to a dance like this. Yeah, yeah. I think they're artists the, all, yeah. The, 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 maybe you want to say that I do think, I'm very interested on the stage, on the performing arts, people that are on stage, what comes from the people. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the most interesting to see on live art still for me. If I see a piece which about uh, uh, from the past, like uh, 
I don't know, an old piece with, 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 that somebody is trying to, like a performer is trying to fit in something, it's very, very taken away from his skills. Like he's, it's for me not so interesting as much as I see as much as possible from the person. Mm -hmm. I want to see the person, basically. I want to see as much individuality from this so people. So in this way, you want to also take the movement from the person. Yeah, I would like to take the movement, although I also mm. give, I also do material and I give to people, but it's because it's a, it's an action of sharing. It's, it's for me, see, not because they have to learn my movement and mm -hmm. because I'm the super choreographer and they need to know what I do, but it's an action, it's an act of sharing because why they should come to... To, to me and, uh, and work with me because maybe I have something to share, yes, and, and not to, like, to, to tell them, yeah, that's right or wrong, like to, to, mm -hmm. to share. And then I'm happy if they also create something which I can learn because uh, I'm also so hungry for inform from new food <laughs> from, from other yeah. people. So it's a sharing process. But I believe from this... Um, coming from the people, so we, we, we made, uh, we said to everyone, we had to make a small, a small phrase of dance movement, why they started to do their art form. It, it's about, you have to make a little choreography about why they started to do their art form, why they started to act, or what is the acting meaning to them, or what is the dancing meaning to them. So it was very, and then we, we, we did these phrases, and they were very different, of course. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting that um, to see how people start to, how they structure it. The actor, as I said, they structure it telling a story. Even if they do it with movement, without words, but it was a story. They narrate a story and they could, you could see with the movement, the story. And it was very interesting. For me, it was really interesting because I'm used to the and other it's people. possible. Also. Yes, much po <laughs> more, yeah, with, with like with pantomime or also movement like pantomime, pantomime or whatever, but it's very story-like. And we dancers, there was also a lot of sense and emotion and everything inside, but it was more like not linear, but like just my parents, they were talking. That's one movement. The pam parents talking all the time and I, I'm just sitting inside or the father and the mother are very distant from each other or so um, or uh, what else for example ah the tooth that I lost when I went to the hospital or whatever some there is very disconnected um, things from each other while they're acting really clearly blah 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 very clearly but of course from the movement quality the dancing, the dancers were doing more dynamic in the space, more more having a, a view for the space, dynamic, blah blah blah, uh, and and the skills which are more close to the to the physical part, mm -hmm. which is a big skill. It's like knowing how the timing, timing, uh, space, um, form, even. Uh, Form, I don't movement the movement itself because the movement is always all these things at the same time yeah. Yeah, I think uh, yeah if you practice something very long time you can be a singer and you can be a good singer right yes because you practice and if you move you're a good mover yes. I guess and that's what dancers do for but them. it's not even a, just about being mm -hmm. good so but about I went this way already like going through it for a long time Mm -hmm. With your life, with your whole life, no, no, not just with, with a course or a, I did a choreography. It's like five times the same movement. It's not a choreography, you know. Yeah. It's for me. And did it cost you a lot to talk to to work on? Like, did it cost you a lot emotionally to, to work on this topic? Because, for example, I can relate to that a lot because I also have a yeah, case in my. In your family? Very close Ooh. family, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, happened a bit later. Yes. And uh, yeah, I get really inspired. I get really inspired from all the things that uh, my mother is inventing, like, yeah. or seeing, because it's real for her. Yes. And it's just, I feel that you could create like a whole, whole book or whole not one book, like many movies out of many plots for things, surreal things, of course, but yeah. 
every day is something different. So, but if I would, like, I feel I would have some kind of block to, 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 to use it because, I, I don't know, for me it would feel like I'm taking away something that is not mine, in a way. Yes. If I would quote her. So for me it would be really hard. Probably I would do it if I had like an external push, but, but for the moment from myself, like you said, yeah. like I would well, maybe have a block. I, I, it's, it was not so difficult because my mother, she was until two weeks ago living in Italy in a countryside yeah. with no connection, no internet, no papers and no nothing. So it's like talking about someone who is not in this earth, really. Yeah, like it's very far away, although she's also openly talking about her. Uh, not so open, of course, but it was in our family, it was never taboo. It okay. was very, she was from beginning on always talking with us about it and, and telling us, like, it was very clear that was happening, even if it was not so easy to, to digest and, and easy to, to live, but it was outspoken. It was mm -hmm. not a taboo, like, that she, what she has and what is uh, going on. So, basically, but because the piece is, that's a lot of questions, I have a lot of, also from journalists and also critics, that they say, there's even critics that say, well, that I didn't go so far in this. But because the piece but is not is. really about, because the piece is not really just about this. The piece uh -huh. is about uh -huh. transformation. Uh -huh. The main topic is transformation. And this is one example of it. So it was not really just about my mother getting... Uh, I took a lot of food from this mm -hmm. to, to perform and to make the piece and to make my line, through, to my story through the piece. But it's not like the same. The, it's not about cra just about craziness. It's more about art, I think, mm -hmm. and it's more about the cra basically because the crazy. What is schizophrenia? It's like um, it's when the brain is well. Like, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but basically, the, it's so overwhelmed that it's there is kind of an implosion. Yeah. And, and there is hallucinations and there is voices hearing, so like voices and, and, and it's a very, very brutal for the, like very hard thing for the people itself. It's very terrible. It's still a taboo in the, in the society very much uh, um, to, to talk about it. And so it's not so easy. Yeah, this of course. Even for us, right? Huh? <laughs> Even for us. Yes, it's 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 uh, very hard to yeah. I mean, it's hard. I find it always hard to accept that this exists because why does it exist? Why does it have to exist like this? You know, why? Wh because like, it's why getting, does because it happen I to think people? the taboo. It's okay. It's I I can I think I know mm -hmm. something very. The taboo is so big because this is psychological illness or deviations, everyone has it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have it. A little bit of too much. I was having in certain years very much like panic attacks and anxiousness, yes? Yeah. I had it for a lot of years. So in this moment when you have it, you're so lost. You don't know what is going on. You don't know what, what you, don't, you don't know what, uh, what's going on with yourself. You think you're crazy. You don't want to tell to nobody that you're crazy because they, you're afraid that they put you somewhere, like that you're not part of the society. So, and not to talk about it makes you, makes not easy for, the, for any kind of psychological illness. We all have, we have, there is from addiction, from, from drug addictions, medicament, like addiction for tranquilizers or whatever. There is all this, because the psychology, my mind, the psych, psych is something very, um, very, very easy to put out of balance. Like mm -hmm. if you eat too many times for a week too much of chocolate, you get fed a little bit, yeah? It's the same with the psyche. If you overstress yourself for a period, then you need to after to balance it. And we are not, mm -hmm. what the society is not used to balance all these things. And, it, and then it makes such a taboo out of it because I think it's very scary then to talk about psychological illnesses because everybody has a little bit inside and everybody wanted to hide it a little bit also. Yeah, generally so, there's this idea of illness as, as, as a way to describe 
it's a little bit already stigmatizing, like illness, I'm sick, I'm sick, like I'm not normal. Yeah, that's already, it's already a bit. Yeah, because it's not the... easy, like for people who are depressed, it's not easy. For people who are bipolar, it's not easy. It's, yeah. like, it's not easy, it's really hard. It's really very, very terrible. It's like being in a wheelchair. It's, a, it's really big topic. And, but then there is the big, the small, like there is the extreme way and there is the less extreme and there is the mm -hmm. less extreme and yeah. the less extreme. So, yeah, I, like, yeah, we're, we're, and also I feel like so unprepared, like it's not so, so at least in my experience, like the, we talk so little about it that when it really happened to me, first with one person and with another person, I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to react. Like my natural way of thinking was like, okay, let's do something. That's probably, we can help with it, but. Yes, you cannot. Yeah, <laughs> you can you can help to a person to help himself. I and, didn't know that. By and, then. and you cannot help. Yeah. you cannot change people, but you can change. So mm. basically, I, I drop off to the next piece because we are. Uh, yeah, let's do this. If it's let's fine, do, because we because the, there second. is not much more to talk Bring about. It. Okay. About this piece, unless I come to see it. Yes, and we this have, is 13 we, and 14. It's here. <laughs> this is the flyer, yes. <laughs> I also can do publicity a bit. And this is um, the 13 and the 14 of November. And it's really great. So, yes. yes. I really and like then the this pictures. is the next piece, we, the, the piece that we are doing in the, this moment. This is the ground for Entdeckung des Jakob Levi Moreno, which is a little bit more theater inside. And like there is dancing as well, there is movement, but there is a little bit more theater, so there is more spoken words. In the first piece, it's a less spoken words. It's more really something visual. And this is more, there is a story because we are touching topic like uh, um, it's about, the piece is, it's like, uh, it's about 900, the year 1913. Um, it's the time that Stalin and Hitler were the, in Vienna, both of them, for a short time, they were both in Vienna, and the center of the piece is Jacob Levi Moreno, which is, uh, um, he's the founder of psychodrama and sociometry, and also uh, standing up, stand, stand up theater, like, Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly now the name. But like, not but like stand-up comedy. I mean, not like stand-up stand comedy. No, stand-up theater. <laughs> like the, like uh, Aufstellung and... Um, uh, no, I don't have the words. Whatever. Basically, it's, it's also here we, talk, we have this topic about psychology, of course. Uh -huh. we are not so obviously, but there is also... We are also kind of, again, with this mental uh, stuff involved. And how does it relate to Hitler and Stalin? Meeting? No, basically, it was... Jacob Levi Moreno was um, a guy from, he was a Jewish uh, guy from, um, from Romania. He came and he was here in the study, in his study years, and he was working here uh, f first with children, like he was in the park working with children. It was a very interesting personality, first of all, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he was working with children from actors. He was just watching them and studying medicine, and and um, he was very much interested about connection between people. That was his basic topic, main topic, like all the connection be mm -hmm. between all the people. Um, he was anti anti go and anti to the uh, psychology of Freud and Adler in this time, which was the individual psychology individual. I don't know exactly how it's the term in English, but it's individualistic, individualistic psychology. So to just heal someone, one person for one, one, he was much more interested about the connections, the connection uh -huh. between the people. And basically we are just making this, this piece, it's, it's an encounter, an hypothesis, we hypothesize what would have happened if Stalin and Hitler would have met together in a workshop for Moreno. So this that was, is this nice. is that. It's a very nice idea to, to just understand these three different personalities, how they connect. And the dancing part has also, part, like dancing has also part in it. And we are kind of, he was working always with helping X, uh, helping eyes, 
helping eyes, which are helping each. So there were its helpers, like friends or, or people from the workshop who were just joining the place. And, um, and they are standing for other people. I don't know how to say Aufstellung, this therapy Aufstellung in English. I know what you mean. Syste systematic therapy. Yeah, so I mean like a person is stand like, like you, you make little scenes. So exactly. you, you have a problem what, and then you make like the, little... He's the founder of this, basically. Okay. All these kind of therapies. Like role which, play. Role play, they all come from him. So there is role play, uh, changing of like mirroring mm -hmm. and uh, doubling. All these, all these concepts were coming from him, and also the socio sociometry. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to talk too much now about Moreno itself. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that also here, basically the movement has to do a lot about, the, like the dance and the choreography has, has to do a lot about with the psychological, emotional uh, mm -hmm. part of, 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 of the topic that we are, uh, we are talking about. Basically, I'm trying... What I do when I'm working with actor or in a group like this, because it's not my piece, of course, mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I'm just a part, a puzzle, like the set design or everything. I'm just trying to understand where does movement, the movement topic is, is relevant. Like where, where can I, uh -huh. so for me it was obviously in these uh, the dictatorships, it's the symmetries and the, and the, and the straight movements, for example, mm -hmm. symmetry or like forms, uh, which if you see, if you, all the documentation we saw, it is all it's the form and the shapes from them. Yeah, they even had like the the Nazis had their own uh, choreographers for all the parades. Exactly. And so on. Like, I don't know if it was Rudolf Laban already, I, one of I them, don't but I, I'm I making know. maybe mistaking, but one of the famous guys, they were already there as well, like so having it, gigs. It's something very like this regular regularity yeah. and big uh, geometry, all these kind of examples. I just, if you work on a piece, I'm just seeing, ah, here there is some physical action that I, I can take, like, or mm -hmm. a fight, mm -hmm. it's also physical action. Ah, that, that's interesting, that, that I can. This I can, um, this I can work, on this I can work with physical, with the physicality. With this, uh, there is some, there I can do something with choreography. So it's then like a total piece and you just see where dance fits we the all best. Do, yes, it's not just me. We mm -hmm. all look where we, how we can use the movements, where we can put the movements. And basically movement is always, mm -hmm. all thing is like, seen from this aspect of movement as well. Of course. And I'm curious, actually, if we're already on the topic of this piece, can you tell me a little bit about the set, the setting? Because yes, it's quite exactly. interesting. I am really... Yes, uh, it, the setting is from Devi Saha, uh -huh. and she's doing the setting for a, a lot of time now already. I think some around five, four or five years for a Bernard ensemble. And in this set, it, it is very close again from the Moreno topic. Um, basically, um, he was having a very interesting idea about, about the how, uh, ah, because I forgot to tell you the most uh -huh. important thing about Moreno. He tried to do Stegreif Theater, like he did in the 1920s or something. He was trying to do really experimental theater in Vienna. And he was totally desired, like, not totally disaster, but it was not so successful. Like there is one, uh, one story that he really went to. I think uh, I don't remember which place. He went there and he made this theater, and there was people very not like very it, didn't angry. like it, yeah, <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, I think it's the but he had a very time. strong concept mm -hmm. about how the stage for him there is no stage, like there is a stage, but um, there is, like there, there is a stage which is kind of round, and there is a higher part. But everything is the stage, mm -hmm. and uh, people, everyone is there. Like everyone is part of it. Also, the public is part. Is acting. Uh, everyone is part of it. Like he had this uh, utopia about uh, t new theater, uh, and with all his theory, how to that everything is open and and people can come from the public and and like everyone is everything. Like uh, so, he had all this, and we. Try to make a setting. This is not 
this is angular, normally with him it would be the round in the middle, the like round and higher, and the person standing in the middle where the protagonist, because mm -hmm. it's always about one protagonist who is talking about his problems, his, uh, whose problems are um, um, uh, um, analyzed. Analyzed, yeah. exactly, yes. So that's the place then for the protagonist, and, and he would stand beside, like, he, he, he was very, like, very charismatic person, mm -hmm. uh, and he would take in all this. And we did a very, we did also a, a setting which has something to do with this, like, some, some yeah, memory a lot of, of it. Chairs. So, to be the time it has to do. The, they are also using in this psychodrama. They're using. Mm -hmm. They're using also not just people who can replace your emotion or your feeling, but maybe I also had the opportunity to do a one hour, like one class for my privately. And you can also like say, okay, this is your mother. Like the table is your mother, or whatever. So there is um, um, also the objects, the space. Everything has mm -hmm. could be named. Can take over a role and and from something, yeah? That's um, really interesting, really so creative. Good. This is so creative. Yes, <laughs> he, he was really very interested in the spontaneous, spontaneous, like spontaneous city. And it's improvisation, theater. like it was improvis. He was very clo like, close to the improvisation mm -hmm. to, to, because he would not like, like if an actor he's doing, like he would also say if a composer would go for a composition like from, from Beethoven, and you play, this is just playing again something mm -hmm. which already exists. But the moment that Beethoven, he composed this uh, Ninth Symphony or whatever, that in this moment, in this state, this is the state that he's interested mm -hmm. in the person. Yeah, that there's this kind of spontaneity which happens when you are like, um, when you are doing art, like when you, are, when you are making art, which I also have to say when I do I'm in the studio and creating movements. You come inside this kind of flow, and, and I think he's talking about this type of spontaneous city, yeah. and he's doing this in front of the public because it's a share. It's 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 about sharing. It's about sharing everything, and 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 I think it's very interesting because I think he was really very far away, like very. Um, ahead of time what psychology is also now because psychology now is very much about about also these relationships they say more and more how much is important how much is important to beloved to watch to 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 work on the relationship not not just partner relationship but other relationships so, um, so he was ahead of his time he was ahead of, he, he was not so the interesting part is that he was not so um, famous at the time. He was not so loved. He was not like he was not so um, po like nobody knew him. But, uh, yeah, like with pioneers, it's always like this, isn't it? Exactly. So basically, <laughs> it's very important. Like it's very interesting to have the possibility. It's very cool to have the possibility to do anything with dance in this city yeah like, it's really nice it's i'm happy yeah. i'm thankful that i can work and keep on working and i'm now this time as a colleague i have daisy bonato mm -hmm. she is a dancer quite young dancer she i did an audition like two years ago where for the first piece but she was also there on the audition and then i was interested already then but so, yeah, and lucky you we don't have so many jobs to, <laughs> yeah. to, to give. And last year was Hannah Timbrell, Hannah, and she's also now again inside. So I'm very happy to have the possibility to, to give at least a little, you know, like a little bit space for this in, in this. In yeah, this it, it's great to bring dance everywhere. <laughs> I think yes. everywhere. If you can, if you can, why yeah. not? Because I think it makes the world a better place if you if you focus yourself yes. on movement more. Yes. Because we are so word and image, that's like the, the, the main pillars of human expression nowadays. But I think, yeah, movement and generally like sensation and feelings and everything comes, that comes with it is yes. important. And, and we are trying maybe to make a little festival. 
Oh, yeah? Yes. Uh, but I don't know how much I can talk about it. Not yet, because it's really like we are trying. Because Is we, it a dance, dance festival? festival. Okay. Dan a little dance festival in uh, April, next April. Mm. Depends on the situation, COVID and everything, and depends on the financial situation. It's, uh, But I would like really... There is already some people uh, inside which which maybe they're not so known in Austria, nothing, but they are really from dance, like from movement. I think it's really important experience. because Vienna is, um, well, if we go on the politics and the general, the, the scene of Vienna is very consolidated when yes. it comes to festivals, when it comes yeah. to venues, when it comes to even the working names. Yes. But I think if, if they can be more of smaller things, maybe they will be also very beneficial. I think very much. And, I, I think it's it's I'm I'm not in the main let's say mm -hmm. I, I have never been so much in the mainstream, maybe really at the beginning when I came to Austria. And once you stay in Austria, then you are you're not you're an Austrian artist even if I'm not Austrian. I'm mm -hmm. Swiss. But if you yeah, stay but a long you're for time, like twenty years <clears throat> or more, right? Yes, so. I'm here since two thousand and one, okay. so nineteen years, and. Uh, what I, I think there is always there is um, dancers in this there is dance in the city there is dancers in the city but they don't have not not such a great space like they don't have so much they don't have so much possibilities. I think they don't it's, have so much respect in a way. No, no, no. For, this for the fact of uh, I mean, well, let's not go too much political. <laughs> let's not go too much political. <laughs> let's not go this problems. Road, but. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I feel that there is like this new wave coming yes. in Vienna or maybe generally in Europe of people who actually are maybe a little bit already tired with just doing concepts and just flashing lights and then moving one finger or just exposing their you know body in different ways, but maybe making more with this craft of actually mastering the, the motion. Yes. And, and I feel that... There's a lot of people who want to do it and there's a lot of people who want to watch it. And I was organizing the event in, yes. in Epson Fabric. So, and there was every month happening. Every month we had like full. So yes. a lot of people It's something wanted. I would like to say because yeah. I don't want also to go too much inside this, the topic, but there is something I want to say. And it's like this. If somebody knows how to move, it doesn't mean that he's old fashioned. And if he's trying to talk with his body and he talks with, with, his, um, with, with his physicality and he has skills, it doesn't mean that he's old-fashioned automatically. It's just something maybe not so usual because there is not so many of people. But th that's what I wanted to say, but maybe I have I mean, to cut. If, you, if you really want to go in this direction, which is one of my favorite directions, <laughs> but I don't, <laughs> don't want to put you in this position. No, no. But... The, the whole criteria of old-fashioned and what old-fashioned is, if you say that certain kind of thinking is new, then the question is, is it really new? Yeah, no, no, that's and, the same. Yes, and yes, I think uh, there is a lot of things that pretend to be new or they've just been invented now. However, they have already existed for a long time. Yes. And they are not new at all. It's just a fashion for a certain kind exactly. of performance. Because That's awesome. I, I really feel that that uh, this is not new at all, what I'm seeing. It's just uh, there is a fashion for this now and not for that. But I still think that maybe the fashion will change and or is changing but it's towards very possible. movement. Yes. It's possible. I have, first of all, because it's going like this. Second, because... Um, because we are in a more emotional time now because of, mm -hmm. I, I think also because of COVID, crisis. the crisis makes emotion more high and we want to see, people want to see emotions more again. I think they can accept it in, in more because there is themselves, uh, uh -huh. it's a higher raised emotional situation now. They need to go somewhere with their problems. They, I think it's not interesting for them to, to go to, to see, Maybe yes, but I think at a certain point they cannot just see the beauty and go to see something very formal and very very neat or very cold. They need to do to to feel. Maybe this yeah, is just no, a, this one is, this thing. Is a great thought. Like that, they need again that, 
and and when it's going to be the change in the society, how, however, how, when and what, but it's going to be, um, I think, it's going to change. It's, it, has an influ- it has an impact on the society. You feel it. It's, there is no way. We, it's really not an easy period. Like, um, mm-hmm. And yes, and, but there is another thing about myself, what I learned about this topic from before, is simply that um, I never was interested about fashions and all this stuff because I grew up very like I grew up in an alternative place in when I, in the in the 70s 80s in Italy in a com- community in a commune that my parents from Switzerland they bought a house in Italy they went there and they wanted to do those biodynamic and everything like oh, wow. doing uh, living like this for themselves so but we didn't have money for clothes, we didn't have money, like, so we were looking like, you know, like poor people on one's hand and dirty or whatever. So we would like look like the more marginalized people from the, from the, from the society. But on the other hand, we had a background and, and uh, in the head, like it's still like um, intellectual background because to make this step, you need a certain, a certain uh, intentions. So I was always used to be outsider and not be part of the big thing in the center and to be, um, but to be critical and to keep on doing my thing, believing in myself and keep on doing it. So, uh, I'm not always on the wave in, in Vienna, like on the high wave. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. but I keep, I'm working here already since a long, long years, and a lot of years, and I do my, and I'm happy and thankful that I can do my thing. I'm really thankful about this. And I think all this mode and this, um, the fashions, it's also a bit a dangerous side of our society. And I find it a bit sad that in our society, also in the culture, which we could do an exception, we could, we, which we could do a bit different, that the, the thing is happening the same in the same global, globalization like in all other uh, places, like in economy and everywhere. Like we, it feels like we need to mm. run behind, to be successful, to run behind this um, um, all the time, to be just in this... It's a superficial bubble, and I'm very happy if someone has great success. It's not for the person. I'm very happy, but it's it's about it's about how much they can have success. You know, it's for one year, for two years, for two months, and all this machinery mm-hmm. is going the same way we like all the others topic that is in the world, so which is like... for me not in not the right way that is going. Uh, that that could change, and I think it's it's. A, I wish that we we have the possibility that this change, like this like topic about Wirtschaft now. What do you mean, like the the waves of things that people are interested in? This is like this, but yeah, this yeah, that is always with... taken as a because we always use that's what I, I the curators or whatever they need to have. This is now the fashion of this. And that's the way to sell it. That, like you ha- need to have mm-hmm. uh, a schublar, like a, a, a box. You need to have this. You have to be able to name it because you have to ask for money. You have to do it. So you have to name it. You have to put the box. You put it in this box. And, and if it's not fitting in this box, it's not existing. So this is this, this kind of thing. It has to do with the structure. It's not about mm-hmm. because the, the curators are stupid or because the, you know, the people itself, they are like this. For me, not at all. It's really just the structure of the society is like this. And I think we have the possibility to do this different. Just shows like mm-hmm. we, I think I always leave. We have to, to try to find a way to, to keep on going around. This. Yeah, I think it's a great thought. I think it's a great thought. Like, yeah, I mean, a human he cannot be put in a box or shouldn't be put in a box. No, and I think art, is... art is never like art which is inside the box. It's all the big art 
artists in the past, in the, the big things is something they did different than the others. Right. Yeah, it's like there's a new, like uh, the new discoveries were like, ah, this person discovered something which is different than the others. So mm -hmm. why searching the same? Yeah, like uh, this is not, it's okay. Everyone, people, we need to sell also. It's also about financial stuff. You know, we need to go around and everyone you need to go around. But moment, like we could yeah. also see, yeah, what is about, this is something, we try something. Anyway, you cannot invent, reinvent every, like yeah, the performing art from mm -hmm. zero to mm -hmm. hundred. Mm -hmm. You cannot reinvent it if, from 3000 years or whatever, when there was Greek mythology, like Greek, Greeks, the Greeks did their scenes. And now what is the big difference? At the end, it's not such a big difference. There was this, these dreams and these dreams and this, uh, but it's always like coming back and there are certain things they don't change so fast because the laws, they have a stage, they stay, mm -hmm. they stay, like they, they, they can change, a society changes. So we have to, the psychosis for me, mm -hmm. for me, the, like um, to say that if something is psychosis, it's not about what is happening there in scene, but to understand what is happening outside, mm -hmm. like what is happening outside in of the this society, scene, yeah. yeah, and what we show then and how we show it. It's a question of taste. It's a question of 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 tastes of uh, not skill, but it's what is if I'm able to to see this. To, to, that he has a connection, that this has a connection with it, yeah. I always, I always think of an artist as a kind of medium, like a medium for... For the times. For the times, or maybe even for the future, because I feel that sometimes artists can even be a medium for the future times, yes. because with the sensitivity that you have practicing arts, you can maybe already sense or, or see mm -hmm. or feel certain uh, impulses that coming from the from the future development of things that are right now, so. Yes, like um, also the, the things that a lot of people have the same ideas at the same time. It's not that somebody's this, copying each yeah. other. Sometimes this happens as well, but normally it's like a few different, like you do a piece about, I don't know what, I, I did a cube inside the cube, this piece with the, mm -hmm. and at the same time, one year later, Doris Ulich did the same with the, not the same of course, but with the, with this, uh, uh, sure. Tank, mm -hmm. yes, which basically it's a, it's the picture. It's a very it's a very strong one, like this picture. And I think it's just she came on the same, on this maybe through other ways on the same ideas. And there wasn't when I did it. There was two three years before the people told mm -hmm. me ah there was one girl who did it as well something like this. It was very different. Mine was very small. It was a cube, you know. It was all different, but it's kind of the same images, yeah. And I think this is, yeah, why? Because it's, there is a call for it. There, is this, there was this call for isolation in this, this, the, mm -hmm. the new te technique and the, the being very naked and being, being uh, separated from, from, but being separated from the others at the end because mm -hmm. we are very open with the, you know, all these pictures, they, they come along and then, yeah. then we connect. And it's nice. Yeah, and it and would be pity to put it in the boxes, like you say. It would be pity. Yes. Okay, so. Yes, enough. I think, <laughs> I think this is great. <laughs> this is really great. Uh, thank you so much for this talk. And I thank you very please much. Please go to see Leonie's performances. Because yes. Because they are already, I don't know, tomorrow? Do you have performance tomorrow? Yeah, we have tomorrow, five times a week. Like, we have a lot of performances. You can watch actually on the website from the Off Theater, mm -hmm. uh, from the Bernard Ensemble or Leonie Val. You can always also watch uh, www.leonieval.com. I will put it in the link. Yes, thank you very much. All right, thank you.